Method acting isn't a new technique, but the idea of living the life of a character in order to give an honest performance has only gotten more popular in the last few decades. Some actors have taken the technique a bit too far, pushing the limits of both themselves and those around them. Here are Screen Rant's 10 actors who almost went crazy in their roles. Heath Ledger, The Dark Knight Not many actors have immersed themselves in a role quite like Ledger did when he was cast to play Batman's arch nemesis the Joker back in 2006. Ledger locked himself away in a London hotel room for a month, keeping a diary and experimenting with various voices and mannerisms until he'd come up with his ideal version of the character. Well, hello, beautiful. The result was one of the greatest villainous performances of all time, one that earned him a Best Supporting Actor Oscar in 2009. Tragically, Ledger never got to see his work on the big screen, since he died of an accidental prescription drug overdose the year before. Rumors that the role drove him to suicide or that he couldn't leave the part behind are probably exaggerated, but this last role will always have movie fans talking. Robert De Niro, Cape Fear De Niro is well known for having paid a dentist several thousands of dollars to grind his teeth down in order to pull off the look of the psychotic Max Cady, but he took the role much further than that. The tattoos that the two-time Academy Award winner sports in the film were made with vegetable dyes, which take months to fade, and he'd spent a similar amount of time reading up on and studying the behavior of sex offenders. De Niro's performance reportedly creeped out Martin Scorsese as much as it did moviegoers, and the actor would jokingly leave voice messages as Katie on his director's machine just to freak him out. Come out, come out wherever you are. Nicolas Cage, Birdie. Cage has made a career out of playing over the top characters. From Vampire's Kiss to Ghost Rider, he's never shied away from his unofficial title as the craziest actor in Hollywood. For his role as a dignified Vietnam veteran in the 1984 drama Birdie, Cage had four of his teeth pulled out just to add an extra dimension to the part. He then shocked the film's crew by wearing his character's facial bandages on and off set for five weeks straight. Whether you choose to acknowledge his insane talent or simply dismiss him as a nut job, there's no denying Cage's place as one of the most fearlessly dedicated thespians in the industry. Joaquin Phoenix, I'm Still Here Back in 2008, when this two-time Academy Award nominee announced that he was quitting acting to pursue a career as a hip-hop artist, most people assumed it was a hoax. I want something better for myself that I have a dream. The next year and a half of bizarre behavior and public appearances resulted in this 2010 mockumentary. After the film received a mixed critical reaction, Phoenix took a break from the acting game. He since returned from his self-imposed hiatus to earn a third Academy Award nomination for his phenomenal work in The Master, so it's safe to say he's now firmly back on track. Kate Winslet, The Reader Kate Winslet holds the distinction as the youngest actor or actress in history to be nominated for six Academy Awards. Her first and only win came from her role as former Nazi concentration camp guard in this 2008 drama, and it's a performance that apparently took a significant toll on the actress. She said that it took months for her to fully break free of the part, equating leaving the character behind to escaping a serious car accident. Thankfully, Winslet has seemingly moved on in the years since, and she continues to be one of the top actresses in Hollywood. Adrian Brody, The Pianist The 6'5 Brody slimmed all the way down to 130 pounds to pull off the emaciated look of a Holocaust survivor in Roman Polanski's historical drama. He since said that the genuine desperation that comes from starvation was something he couldn't fake, and at times he found himself wondering if he was going to be able to escape the role with his sanity. It reportedly took the actor over a year and a half to settle back into his normal life. Considering that the role resulted in Brody becoming the youngest actor ever to notch a Best Actor Oscar win, we'd say it was worth it. Jamie Dornan, The Fall Before Dornan gained worldwide fame for his leading role in the Fifty Shades of Grey adaptation, he was starring as the Belfast Strangler in this BBC series opposite X-Files star Gillian Anderson. In order to help get himself in the mindset of a serial killer, the 33-year-old actor confessed to following a woman off a train and pursuing her from a distance for several blocks. He probably should have kept that information to himself. Shia LaBeouf, Fury Shia LaBeouf has made a serious effort to move on to more serious roles since his days of palling around with Optimus Prime and Bumblebee in the Transformers franchise. He's become a very serious method actor, known for going to various extremes for his movies, and his supporting role in David Ayer's World War II film was no different. He told an interviewer that he pulled out his own tooth and slashed his own face with a knife for a more realistic look. He also revealed that he hadn't bathed in months and spent days watching horses die. Even for LaBeouf, that's pretty out there. Yeah, boy. Jared Leto, Suicide Squad The Clown Prince of Crime is not a role that can be taken lightly, and Leto may have taken his preparation for the part even further than Heath Ledger did. The 43-year-old's decision to stay in character in between takes isn't all that out of the ordinary, but his gift-giving habits definitely were. 
He sent his fellow cast members a series of bizarre presents, including a box of bullets for co-star Will Smith and a live rat for Margot Robbie. He even sent the entire cast a video of him in character alongside a dead pig. Apparently, method gift-giving is a thing nowadays. Daniel Day-Lewis in pretty much every movie he's ever made Of all the method actors working today, Daniel Day-Lewis may be the name most associated with the technique. No one embodies a character quite like he does. I am the third revelation! In My Left Foot, he broke two of his own ribs because of his character's constantly hunched over posture. He also spent six months alone in the wilderness preparing for The Last of the Mohicans. This is one actor who dedicates his entire life to every role he takes on, and his three Academy Awards show he's clearly doing something right. I drink your milkshake! What's your favorite example of an actor pushing himself to the limit? Is method acting the only true way to embody a character? Let your voice be heard in the comments section, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.